here. What do we got next? All right, here we go. Urban Meyer. He's uh, putting a lot of pressure on himself here, honestly. Not not intentionally, I don't think, but, uh, you know, first year as a head coach. You know, he was a college, he was a great college head coach. I don't think anybody's doubting that, but never really won the big game that consistently. You know, I think he's only got one of those college championship uh, trophies and, uh, you know, not really consistently getting there into the top four for that kind of play, uh, for that uh, college football playoff tournament. But uh, Urban Meyer thinks he's got the plan to figure it out here in the draft. His first draft, his first kind of, you know, real uh, test as a good head coach out here in this league. Can you draft well? It's not the end-all be-all for a coach. We know Bill Belichick doesn't draft the best offensive pieces, but, you know, he won a couple of rings over a 20-year period, so got to give him the credit. But Urban Meyer here, Jaguars must trust draft board, avoid chasing players to fill the need. So that's this is his strategy going into his first draft here quote I find myself always looking at the need and that's where you have to be cautious you start chasing players quote the whole idea of value is completely new to me that's something I relied on um, you know, his defensive coordinator and offensive coordinator, um, um, who has extensive experience in the NFL and obviously Trent and his staff talking about the coordinators that he has there for that Jaguars team that he is the new head coach of. I'm a quick learner. I've been working at this now for about three months and the last three to four weeks, this has been our entire life in that room watching videos, stacking the board. So trusting the board is key. I'm at the point almost, uh, I'm at, I'm at the point almost there that I will trust it. But as a head coach, I can see where we need this, we need this, we need this, and that's where you get yourself in trouble. It's been a great learning experience for me, and to answer your question, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about everything. I think you know that. So, uh, you know, uh, coming in here, you know, having that great kind of college resume that he has, you know, being this kind of big name hire, a lot of pressure on him kind of having success year one. I mean, uh, Matt Rule just came in from Oregon and, you know, had a pretty decently successful season in this you know year one won a couple of games looked you know was competitive in all those games I mean they only got blown out twice and that was by the Bucks. that was it every other game was a win or kind of a one possession loss which isn't too bad your first year especially kind of missing your face of the franchise having Teddy Bridgewater be the quarterback who hasn't been a starting quarterback in this league in a very long time so, you know, given all those cir circumstances, Matt Rule had, you know, decent success. I don't like the direction that he is bringing the Panthers team in, bringing Sam Darnold. I don't love that decision, but we'll see if it plays out year two. But, uh, yeah, Urban Meyer, a lot of pressure on him here. First draft here. Uh, you know, he's going to trust his gut. And he, you know, has a little bit of a break here because they've got the number one overall pick. And, you know, you don't. that's not even a decision. It's Trevor Lawrence. I mean, you don't have to make a tough decision for that first round pick. So, you know, a little bit easier, you know, set, you know, kind of easing him into kind of this draft role so you know round two when you know it's still let you know there there's still you know pressure round two because <clears throat> You can still find real great players, you know, second round, obviously. But, uh, you know, getting that first round pick, you know, it's a guaranteed, you know, quarterback. It's always going to be Trevor Lawrence. We know this. So, you know, easing him into this kind of draft process a little bit. So we'll see how he turns around here this draft. We'll see how he coaches out his first season. But, uh, yeah, Urban Meyer, a lot of pressure on this man stepping up from college. Um, Nick Saban stepped up from college for the Dolphins, and that didn't work out. So Urban Meyer, you know, coming out of retirement, trying to get it done in the league. A lot of pressure on this man, so we'll see how he deals with it. Seems like he's trying to deal with it the best that he can, you know, giving getting a lot of input from the coordinators on his team that he trusts that have been doing this for a while. So, Urban Meyer, trusting the board. Trusting the board is the plan here in his first draft. We'll see if it plays out.